All afternoon, you've probably noticed the information there at the bottom of your screen. We've partnered with the Red Cross and local officials to help the victims of flooding and wind damage this week all across eastern Kentucky. WIMT meteorologist Brandon Orr is at ground zero, if you will, for the relief effort, and that's Johnson Central High School. He's live with more on what's going on there today. Brandon. Steve, I'm in here in the gymnasium. We've been here all day long. I am with Stacy Crum from the United Service Corps. And Stacy, look at all the folks behind us still getting ready, boxes upon boxes of all different supplies that these families that have just lost just about everything, uh, they really need this stuff. What does it feel like to actually get out and volunteer? It's very humbling. It's very humbling. I'm very proud of our community for banding together. Uh, I'm very proud of Johnson County and we have so many students. I know my daughter herself has worked here since they've been open and she just gets up every morning and she wants to come here to work. So we need help. We need more volunteers. We need more supplies. So anyone that wants to come out, please do come out and help. If you don't have the money to give the supplies, give your time, you know. Uh, Anything, anything can help, and it's a very rewarding experience, too. It is. I've seen tractor trailers full from Walmart, Food City, even just folks who were spared from some of the flooding uh, this past week, and they wanted to pitch in to help their friends and neighbors. So you still have time to help. You can see that number scrolling across the bottom of your screen. We also have more information on WYMT.com. Steve? Brandon, tell me uh, your personal thoughts about the uh, the outpouring of support you've seen over there today. There have been so many people. I have been shocked at the amount of people that walk through these doors. Like I told you earlier, there's folks coming in here from far away. They're coming down from near the Tennessee border, just bringing the truckload of supplies. They went to Walmart or they went to their grocery store and they just bought a load of supplies and they came up here. It's It's been a lot of support and it's helped uh, around 550 families since the flooding have walked through these doors here at Johnson Central and got some of these supplies. Mm. Great to see. Brandon, thank you very much.